in uh, assist control uh, mode of uh, ventilation the ventilator uh, settings uh, include uh, beside FiO2 the target that could be the volume or the pressure in our example here it's a volume that we're targeting to deliver 500 ml of air into the lung and this will be delivered at a rate of at a flow rate of 30 liters per minute and the set rate on the machine is here at 12 breaths per minute indicating that every five seconds there will be a breath so the trigger here is five time which is set at five seconds now the inspiratory time is set at 1.5 seconds indicating that the whole the whole inspiratory time will be will be 1.5 seconds and since we are able to deliver 0.5 liter at a flow rate of 30 liters per minute in one second only that means that we are left with 0.5 second in inspiration where the volume is already into the lung and the flow reaches zero here there is no need for more flow to deliver any further volume in order to keep that volume inside the lung we need to overcome the lung elastance and that's why we need a pressure here which is a plateau pressure there is no more need of pressure to overcome the airway resistance that's why the beak inspector pressure goes down to the plateau pressure so this breath is a mandatory breath and this breath is mandatory you can see the patient is not initiating any efforts and this patient is breathing now with a controlled mode of ventilation and the control here is a volume now once this patient start to breathe at that time every inspiratory effort will be assisted with the same control that is tidal volume so you can see here the patient now is breathing at a rate close to 18 per minute so almost every three seconds there is a breath and you can in you can notice the scalloping of the inspiratory pressure indicating that the patient is initiating inspiratory breath. Now, every time the patient is triggering the ventilator, the ventilator will deliver the control, which is a tidal volume. In order to trigger the ventilator, the patient has to reach a flow trigger level, which is set here at four liters per minute. So the patient has to initiate a flow of four liters per minute before the machine is triggered and deliver and delivering the tidal volume. Now, if the patient does not breathe for five seconds, then the machine will be triggered with a mandatory breath. I'll freeze it so you can see it. And you can see the difference between mandatory breath and assisted breath now this breath is assisted breath and this breath is assisted it occurred at almost three seconds but the patient here for five seconds one two three four and five did not breathe so the trigger which is set at every five seconds now is activating another breath that is mandatory and you can see that we lost a scalloping here that was caused by the patient's effort. And this is a mandatory breath. So this is assist breath and this is mandatory breath. And this mode is called assist control mode of ventilation or uh, CMV. Thank you very much.